about the fruit kvass. So here it is in the jar. This is also going to get a little bit of salt. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of salt for this. Salt just helps preserve it. And then I'm going to add, you know what, I'm going to use my coconut whey, and let's see how much I've got. It's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons, and that's fine. And the rest of it is going to get filled with water. So it gets filled right up to the neck. And like everything else, you're going to make sure that everything is covered by liquid. And once again, you'll make sure that your jar is clean. And it will be covered with cheesecloth and it will sit here with the other ferments. So we'll be back in a couple days to see how it tastes. And my final ferment is the fruit kvass, and I am going to pour it into my cup. You can either keep it in the jar, or keep the fruit in the jar, or you can strain it out. This has been sitting for three days. I might actually want it to sit a little longer. I smell mango. I taste mango, don't really taste the apple, so I'm definitely going to let it sit a little longer. And I think the other thing that I'm going to do is add some ginger to that. That'll really spice it up. So that is an easy thing to do with your fruit peels and seeds, anything that you might think, oh, this is garbage. It's not. It's something you can ferment and turn into something that you can drink to enhance your microbiome every day. Mix it into a smoothie, drink it in a glass over ice, add a little uh, lemon extract to it and make yourself a drink <laughs> and enjoy.